Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is looking at Conquest issue number three. But before I get into it, um, I thought I'd just show how I'm getting on um, with the first first issue of the Primaris Marines. Um, yeah, for the most part, I've got my Kakaradon intercessors finished. There's a few little bits I need to touch up on. Like the freehand, I've kind of screwed up massively, but I've picked up some paint in a pen, like really fine markers, just to try and help me with this. Um, I could paint that over and start them again, but I'd like to, in a sense, see my progression through my army, see how I go. Here's the other two, I've just got the bases left to finish and the little screen on that thing left to go and that's them um, done not bad for trying to get two weeks worth of painting done um well, not great but yeah um i was looking at getting some transfers for the shoulder pads but there's a great website that sells them for 12 dollars but american company shipping is 13 dollars and I can't justify spending more than the actual product's cost on shipping, so I'm going to give it an attempt at a little bit of freehand and hopefully get better with time. So yeah, look at the magazine. The first thing that really stands out is this. No more plastic. I like this. Um, the company I work for, we're trying to phase out all plastic within the next two years and just seeing this it makes me a little bit happy, the fact that we're not having unnecessary plastic that isn't good for us, the oh, planet really, but yeah, environmentalist over. Let's have a look in here. Right, so, you see we've got your easy to build Reavers sprue. Got your pot of lead voucher, not really secure, but no issues. And obviously your uh, bases. But yeah, looking at the magazine. Weaver's attack, hand hand combat, yada yada yada. Special subscription offer. So I've already subscribed to this, so it doesn't really apply, but it's nice. Obviously, it's winding down in stores now, so obviously they're going to try and push for this as much as possible. But yeah, oh, on a side note, when I went in this morning, the Rick Smiths had four copies of this, and about seven copies of issue two sat on a trolley, ready to go back. So I think the hype is kind of ran down, or they get they're starting to get too much in. But yeah, things are starting to get more readily available. But yeah, um, just a look at the war gear, all that nice dark angel reaver there. Some information on the war of Taravar against the Necrons. So, obviously, how to build your reavers, pretty self explanatory. Anyway. How to paint your reavers. Uh, and then carrying on with using your lead voucher, going over the other, like your older models that you've got in the past two issues. Then we're looking at close combat. So it's new, like some more rules. So it's looking to be more in depth rules as you go along which to be honest is great for beginners you're not getting bogged down on rules straight away because it's kind of like it is overwhelming for new new players it kind of sucks for a lot of new players to be fair but yeah some extra rules more information on 
other weapons, i.e. your power fist, your plague knife, combat knife, obviously it's looking at close combat this issue. Yeah, some more subscribe. So obviously issue four, you're getting some pox walkers. Yay. Can't stand pox walkers, I'll probably give them away at some point. And this guy, Lieutenant Calcius. Sounds like someone who would try and promote drinking milk to kids. But one thing I don't get is obviously we're getting an exclusive model for the Ultramarines, which I'll be filing off every iconography I can find on that model because I hate the Mary Sue's. But we don't get one for Death Guard. It would have been interesting, but yeah. This is interesting though. Obviously published weekly, UK 799. Australia and New Zealand. Does this mean that people in Australia and New Zealand might be able to order it from the website? It might be coming out over there, who knows? But yeah, that's issue three of Conquest. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and yeah, see you next time.